Hi guys, I am so excited to be here with you this week and do another story and I don't know about you but I've been really enjoying the other stories. Kirsty's story about God's great idea and Lucy's story about all the spanners. I wouldn't have a clue. So whenever I was having a wee think, actually first, I just want to say, yay, it is summertime. I'm sure you're so excited. There's no more homeschooling. We might have to do a wee bit of work every now and then, but I'm sure your daddies and mummies are so excited, just as excited as I am, that it's summertime. And I'm sure you've done so much great work over the past few months. So well done, everybody. And I hope you're enjoying your first week of summer. So whenever I was having a wee think about what I was going to say in this week's story, I was having a wee think about lockdown and all the rules that have come in since lockdown has begun back in March. And I don't know about you, but there are so many rules. Stay two metres away from everyone. Don't go to your granny's house. Stay home. Don't go to school. Sorry, but you can't see your friends. And lots more. And now, as we're getting back to a wee bit of normal, it seems every day there are new rules added to the old rules. And even about the rules that we had before, we still have to do that. And I'm sure you've had some of these rules in your house. Be nice and kind. Play nice together. Don't be rude. Don't hurt anyone. And there are even more rules for the teachers when they go back to school in September. But we'll not be worrying about that just now. There are rules that mummies and daddies need to keep whenever they're out driving on the roads. There are rules that we have to do. We'll have to put a sun hat on and we'll have to put our sun cream on whenever we're out in the sun. And then I was having a wee think as I was walking around my house by all the rules that there are for other things. This one's for an iron, this one's for how to put together a bike, and this one's for the hoovering. And then I was looking at my recipe books and I thought there's even rules for how to do the recipe so that it still tastes nice, like it should be. That was a bit loud. Then there's even rules for Lego if we want it to build a wee police motorbike. If that's how we want it to turn out, we'll have to follow the rules. No matter what the rules are though, I think they're there to keep us safe and well so that we can play with toys and safely iron because that could be a bit dangerous. But I'm going to tell you a story about when God gave his people rules in the Bible. And sometimes we can think of the Bible as a really difficult book, but it's like a real book about how God wants his children to behave and act. Now I know that the Bible seems a really difficult book because there seems so many, many books in it and so many rules in it. And I think it's really difficult even for mummies and daddies to understand. And don't tell Pastor Ruth, but I bet it took her even a long time to understand them. So we don't need to be worrying about whether we understand it or not. And it's okay to ask questions. That's why I like these storybook Bibles. And then the stories of the Bible it makes it really easy to understand. So let's go. The story I'm going to tell you today is called 10 Ways to Be Perfect. So there they all were. Grannies, grandas, babies, uncles, aunts, children, mums, dads, out there in the middle of the desert. Now, this is a bit of a story after Moses and all his people were set free from the Pharaoh, they went out into the desert and had a wee dander there. Now, it took nearly 40 years for that walk that they had, and it took a lot longer than it needed to. But this is where this story comes from. So they had blisters from all the walking. They were hungry and thirsty and much, much too hot. We don't like it, they said. It stinks. And so did they because they hadn't had a bath in weeks. Now remember, because this is something they'd forgotten, God had done amazing things for his people. He'd 
hidden them inside a cloud. He moved the sea for them and he set them free. God's people still weren't happy. They didn't care about being free. It wasn't a better that they were slaves, at least they had nice food to eat. God doesn't want us to be happy, they said. And that was the same lie that Adam and Eve had heard all those years before. God has brought us out here to kill us. God doesn't love us. But they didn't know God very well, did they? Every day of their journey, God kept showing his people how well he would look after them, if they would trust him and obey him. And when they were hungry, God made the sky rain with food. Bread coming down from heaven. What is it? They asked each other. They didn't know. So they called it, what is it? Which is a really good name for something when they don't know what it is. When they were thirsty and started quarreling or arguing, God made water flow from a rock. Moses called that place quarreling, because that seemed like a good name too. And still God's children didn't trust him to do what he said. They thought they could do a better job of looking after themselves and making themselves happy. But God knew there was no such thing as happiness without him. So God led them to a tall mountain. God wanted to talk to his people and show them what he was like. He wanted to help them know him better and tell them about the special land he was going to give them. The whole earth belongs to me, God said, but I have chosen you. You are my special family. I want you to live in a way that shows everyone else what I'm like so they can know me too. I think that's part of God's great idea too, wasn't it? So God called Moses up onto the mountain. The great mountain shook. A thick cloud fell. Thunder roared. Lightning cracked. And God gave Moses ten rules called commandments. I want you to love me more than anything else in all the world and know that I love you too. God told them that's the most important thing of all. God gave them other rules like don't make yourselves pretend gods, don't kill people or steal or lie. The rules showed God's people how to live and how to be close to him and how to be happy. They showed how life works best. God promises to always look after you, Moses said. Will you love him and keep these rules? We can do, yes, we promise. But they were wrong. They couldn't do it, no matter how hard they tried. They could never keep God's rules all the time. Only one person could keep all the rules. And many years later, God would send him to stand in their place and to be perfect for them. Because the rules couldn't save them, only God could save them. Does anybody know the name of the person that God sent to keep all the rules? The only person who is perfect? Yes, I think I heard it. Yes, it was Jesus. And I am so super glad that Jesus came. He kept all the rules and he stood in our place. And I know we really try to keep all the rules. Sometimes we just can't and we don't. But Jesus came so that I can get to know God and so that I can try and live out those rules, but that I can live life a bit differently so that other people can get to know him. And I think that's really great. And I hope you have really enjoyed that story. And I hope it makes you have a wee think about the rules that you could maybe try to keep and how that might make you seem a bit different from other people and that they might get to know God too. And I hope you know so much how much God loves you and your families. 
and I hope that that's what we can do very soon getting back to get back to church and to our church family like Kirsty was talking about. So I was going to have a wee pray and then we can go. Let's pray. Thank you God for sending your only son to stand in for us when we couldn't keep the rules. Lord, we thank you for the rules that keep us safe and well. And Lord, we thank you that you want us to be happy. Lord, that you might use your Holy Spirit for us now to be able to know God. Lord, we want you to keep our families safe and well. Lord, we love you. Amen. I hope you've really enjoyed the story this week and I can't wait to see you all so soon. Bye.